separation, the path of the shoulders separating from the hips. So we're at the gym at the beginning of the year and setting up a foundation is absolutely critical. Understanding body control, movement tempo, that's always the key. So right now, big thing that you need as a thrower or any kind of athlete really is rotational strength development is key. Now, when it comes to the shot and the discus specifically, one of the things we have to do is we have to create separation, which is gonna create stretch reflex, right? So we always do this analogy. We show this is stretch reflex, this is not stretch reflex. This is way more dynamic than this. So when you set the right type of separation, especially in the start when we're setting up the chain reaction, that's one of our key objectives, that's gonna help us create stretch reflex. So, what you're gonna notice is I have a couple of athletes and they're going through this and one of the things is how do we lock down the legs to create the separation, the path of the shoulders separating from the hips. If the hips and the shoulders move together, they're trying to do core work and are they getting some core strengthening? Yes, but what's the key? They have to create more tension and so when you lock up the lower body correctly, they're gonna feel that tension. And this is really important. You're just getting more out of the time that you're spending and you're getting stronger faster when the movement's more efficient and it carries over to the sport. So now when we're in the throw and we're doing this and we lock up correctly, we're creating the separation and then we're gonna create that stretch reflex that facilitates and helps the thrower move smoothly and rhythmically into the throw. So, you'll see that we're teaching that to the athletes. Where do they position the knee and the hip? How is that gonna help create better separation? That's the goal, and we point out a couple of key things. So we're learning body control, the right mechanics, because we wanna strengthen specifically for the sport. So, hopefully that helps you guys to understand how to get more out of your rotational core training, the simple thing that's gonna carry over to your throat. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you are kind of at a point where you're stuck and results seem to be slowing down, chances are you're missing out on key details. And that's one of the things we talk about in this video. Be sure to click the link below to check out membership. There is a member version of this video where we go behind the scenes and show you the entire training session where we really break it down and show our athletes how to learn this movement literally in about 10 minutes and then reinforce those things over a couple of training sessions and now their quality of movement is better across the board. So if you'd like the same thing, click the link below and we'll see you on the inside. Take care.